Hi, this is Sunil Kumar from MDM uh, support team. In this video, we're going to learn how to create a selective change list and promote in uh, MDM. So here is the agenda for this video. So uh, let's uh, think. I mean, let's uh, see why we need to create a selective change list and how to create selective change list and how to promote it. Finally, we are going to see a demo on it. So why we need to create selective change list? Let's assume that like uh, in one of the environments you created. Uh, some extra objects let's say for example uh, one column is ex I mean, I mean uh, one extra column is added to your base object then you need to promote that only extra column across all the environments let's say QA, SAT and uh, production in that case we need to create a selective change list how to create selective change list we're going to see in uh, demo and how to promote it we're going to see in demo um, let's go to the demo here I have two ORS that is uh, you can see that same X ORS and uh, SIP sample in SIP sample I have uh, let me show you in SIP sample this is uh, my ORS here is a BO so I have two columns column 1 and column 2 but in CMX ORS the same sample I have four columns Let's assume that I need, if I want to promote this column three and column four, which are extra columns started in one of the uh, ORS, and uh, we need to promote that two columns into other environments or in other ORS, we can go for selective chain list. Now I'm going for uh, Metadata Manager, and here I can see that. So you have uh, two options here: and promote a visual and chain list. So before going to that, if if you want to export a source source ORS that is CMX ORS, you can export. Otherwise, you can directly select the ORS from the promote button. So here, go to Visual Promote. Here in the source, you have to select CMX ORS because it has extra columns. And target, uh, we need to promote those two extra columns. So it is a target, and SIP sample is the target. Let me select what is the source here. Source is CMX ORS. Either you can select CMX ORS or if you have already uh, save the change list, you can go to file repository and select over there. Let's say I want to select same X ORS here, which is my source. And here, see here initially it won't show any difference because there is no comparison happen here. So that's why I'm going to select the target ORS, which is a SIP sample, which has only two columns. That is column one and column two. Now by using selective change list, we're going to promote the other two or a single column to your target so once you generate the se selective change list here you can go to other environment using that selective change list, which has only the um, changed uh, columns let's see here are my base objects so I have a sub sample and this is the columns I have four column uh, the green uh, mark shows that column three and four are new columns added in uh, source uh, ORS and go to target orders and check for the table this is the sample so here I have uh, only two columns let's assume that uh, I want to promote only column 3 in that case what you can do is select the column 3 click on the base object and select the column 3 and see if you directly go and change uh, column 3 See here, it, it, it may give an option to save it. But you will see this change list is not generated. So in order to generate the change list of this column 3, you need to first promote it. See so here, promote option. And select any of the values, whichever you need. Then click on OK. Then it will show you what is the object is going to be added in this change list. I mean, select a change list. So I have column 3 now now I'm going to create a change list that is selective change list which has only column 3 see here I'm going to save it column 3 see this 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 war is in same enum that's why I, even I can go for promote but if you want to promote only column 3 in other environments in that case we need selective change list so now we have created a selective change list if you want to see I can show you what is the select uh, change list uh, which has only column 3 now go to change list let's assume that is different environment and I have column 3 so select 
the target ORS and go here and here you can see column 3 so in this case we are going to promote only column 3 to SIP sample of our sample BO let's see see add column column 3 so I want to promote it yes so it will take uh, some time to promote the change to your target ORS So changes were applied. If you want to check now, you can check here. Let's go to SIP sample. Take the columns. Yes, I have column 3 here. In the same way, you can use this column 3 selective change list and go to any environment like QEA, SIT, production. So go there and uh, go to metadata manager and you can go to change list or promote change list option select your target ORS let's say in other environment if the target ORS is uh, uh, whatever it is SIP sample or CMX ORS you can select that and using this option that is load a change list from your file this option you can set this column 3 change list so let me show you what is the column 3 change list here so here is my uh, column 3 change list C which has only see here it, it, it has only column 3 uh, change and this change XML so you can promote this column 3 across your all the environments so this is the uh, you know uh, necessity uh, to create selective change list and you can promote uh, all your environments. So to refer more uh, you can follow this KB article and also you can refer metadata manager that is uh, the guide name is called metadata manager uh, which is earlier 9.5 uh, uh, for one five sorry 9.5 till 9.5 we can call it as metadata manager and after that it is called as repository manager you can refer this guide as well. And thank you for watching this video and you would uh, we would love to hear from you and support videos uh, uh, at informatic.com and also you can follow us on twitter.com info support thank you thank you for the watching this video have a nice day